Everyone on the planet liked Christmas a lot, but Deer, who had seen many Christmases, did not. The Earth dreaded Christmas the whole Christmas season. If you think real hard, you might know the reason. It could be perhaps all the gift wraps we toss, or maybe the dumb turkey and cranberry sauce. But whatever the reason, the sauce or haste, the earth spun there on Christmas Eve, hating the waste. Staring from outer space with a bitter earthly frown at the ribbons and bows thrown to the ground. For she knew all the lights and inflatables too were busy now creating a Christmassy zoo. She spun round and round, wondering how can this be? I must find a way to make Christmas waste free. For every year she knew they'd buy lots of fluff. It's hard to break it all down. It really is tough. And then all the stuff, all the stuff, 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 stuff. That's one thing the earth hated, the stuff, 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 stuff. Then the people below would sit down to feast, and they'd feast, and they'd feast, and they'd feast, 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 feast. And much of that feast would end up in the trash. Forty percent, they really must ask. And then they'd do something she liked least of all. Every earthling below, the tall and the small, would use 10,000 watts on their houses below. And the earth would light up. The earth, she would glow. She'd glow and she'd glow and she'd glow, 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 glow. The more the earth thought how bright she would glow, the more the earth thought, I think they should know. For far too long, I've put up with it now. I must stop the waste from compiling, but how? Then she got an idea. An awesome idea. The earth got a wonderful, awesome idea. I know just what to do, the earth smiled to herself, and she got much needed help from a small Christmas elf. The elf looked around and cried, what a sin, then went and emptied the recycling bin. All I need is some presents, and the elf looked around, but since presents were scarce, there were none to be found. Did that stop the elf? No, the elf simply said. If I can't find presents, I'll make some instead. The stuff here in this blue bin should do me just fine. And the elf made tree decor that looked just divine. He loaded old sweaters and his sewing machine. He told Earth, don't worry, this Christmas will be green. Then the elf started down to the depths of the place where the people below were making so much waste. All their houses were lit with incandescent lights. The shiny red paper gave the elf quite a fright. Then he moved and he grooved with a smile most pleasant. Around the whole room, he rewrapped every present. This paper is not recyclable. This paper is trash. Then he scurried around in a mad elfy dash. Timers and compost bins, LED socks, local food popcorn strings, pickles, wood blocks. And he regifted old things. Then the elf very nimbly replaced the electric heat with a chimney. Then he crept to the fridge. He gave them a feast. He gave local veggies. He gave free range meat. He filled up that fridge just as quick as a flash. Why that elf even gave a pot of garlic mash. Then he went to the next room. He felt so much glee. And now, grinned the elf, I'll give them a real tree. He brought in a fir tree from a tree farm nearby. Then the elf spun around when he heard a small cry. He turned around fast and he saw a small child, little Sam McDonald, who caught him and smiled. That elf had been caught by this tiny little one who got out of bed to see if Santa had come. She stared at the elf and said, Christmas elf, why? Why are you redecorating our Christmas tree? Why? My sweet little child, the Christmas elf thought, there's lights on this tree that use too many watts. I'm switching them up for new ones, you see. They're still bright and twinkle, but use less energy. Little Sam might be small, but she wasn't a fool. We learned to waste less with my green team at school. And then Sam looked around. 
and there was no waste to be seen. She smiled because she knew that this Christmas would be green. And when Sam was convinced that the elf finished his job, she went back up to her room and slowly turned her doorknob. Then the last thing she did before she went to bed was to turn down the heat and put on a sweater instead. And when little Sammy was in bed and asleep, the elf crept around the house. He did a final sweep. Under the tree he left presents in reusable bags, on the mornings written on glitterless tags. The ornaments were made from old bits of paper, and Sam had a nice gift for Mom that she made her. And the one speck of waste the elf left in the house was a wad that was too small for even a mouse. Then he did the same thing to the other earthlings' houses, leaving wads much too small for the other earthlings' mouses. When the people awoke, they took a look around. It is still Christmas, they say, but there is no waste to be found. The elf jumped up and down. I made Christmas green. Aha, said the people, we see what you mean. Maybe Christmas, they say, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. To the ones who they love, they gave all their time, instead of spending all their nickels and dimes. And what happened then? Well, the earth, she did say that the people made three times less garbage that day. And they spent time together. They sat down to a feast. And Christmas was simple. The earth sighed in relief. Happy Green!